Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now if you want the best gaming experience then we all know a monitor is the way to go. Even if you're on a budget you can pick up used ones online for next to no money if you don't mind a lower resolution display. You can also get one of these for cheap too, old school projectors. Now I don't mean old school as in retro, I mean this has literally come from an old school. For a few pounds or dollars you can have a budget cinema experience at home but you aren't limited to watching films and today we're going to see what it's like to live with one of these using it as your PC's primary display. This Sanyo model has seen far better days which explains the price but with a 100Hz refresh rate and a maximum 300 inch display size along with a native 1024x768 output resolution it can turn any room in your home into a theatre. As you can see I've got mine hooked up to my Ryzen 3 system here and projected onto my bedroom wall which is about 8 foot in width. The built in focus and zoom wheels allow for easy adjustment so it doesn't look too bad at its native res. It has been used for 3,500 hours of its estimated 4,000 hour lifespan but uh, we'll just cover that up and forget about it and try to test it out before it gives up. You'll have to forgive the subpar video quality today as I don't have a decent lighting setup, but what you see doesn't really differ that much from what you get. So can my cheap projector give us an acceptable gaming experience? Well despite the performance issues of the game itself, the dark and vivid colours of Call of Duty World War 2 actually pop quite well and you will certainly feel quite immersed during intense sequences. There is an obvious problem with definition and sharpness and despite the dark room it can be hard to see detail but on screen text and subtitles are very readable. I expect a little more calibration and projecting onto a dedicated screen instead of my bedroom wallpaper would probably help us a little bit though. I chose Bioshock Infinite next because it's quite a vibrant game and even at 1024x768 resolution it looks okay. In terms of actual performance, standard projectors designed for offices and schools don't have the same technology as monitors when it comes to dealing with input lag and response times but the games I tested felt absolutely fine. We'd probably be at a disadvantage in a fast paced multiplayer game though and one thing I've always enjoyed about Crisis 3 is the beauty of its overgrown NYC environments, which are unfortunately all washed out here. It seems this thing is far better at handling specific colours over others, and even adjusting the greens, reds and blues from the settings menu made minimal difference to our discontinued office equipment's output, resulting in a muddy, washed out mess. Thankfully the art design of Cuphead hid some of our projector's weaknesses and this actually looked quite decent even when I went in for a close up. Gaming overall is definitely a mixed bag but I shouldn't complain at the £7 or $10 price tag. So if it's not ideal for gaming what is it good for? During my few days with it I found that web browsing is quite delightful and video playback like gaming doesn't offer fantastic quality but watching a film, TV show or even a YouTube video brings with it a totally different but awesome immersive experience with on screen text once again being easily readable. Not to mention I edited this entire video on it. I've got a massive headache but I had to put my money where my mouth is. Overall. Gaming on any old office projector isn't ideal but it is acceptable and most of the ones I've seen second hand have the same 1500 lumens light rating and low resolution output. So you could probably expect a similar experience to this if you wanted to buy one for yourself. It actually offers better quality than some of the cheap new ones out there that output at 640x480 but it's only got 500 hours of usage left or 21 days and I'll be using it for films and stuff until it gives up. Who knows, I might try and build a PC inside of it afterwards. Guys, thank you for watching. I know this video has been a little bit different but I couldn't turn down the deal on this super cheap projector and I hope you guys have enjoyed it nonetheless. If you did leave a like on it, leave a dislike if you didn't, let me know if you game on a projector and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and as always, Hopefully I'll see you all in the next one.